Welcome back to yet another wonderful YouTube video everybody. So as you can see based on the title, I tried to become a pilot. So I'm now here at Tinsipen Airport at the Aeronautical School of the West Indies that trains aspiring pilots to get their private pilot license, flight simulation, flight building, flight experience or discovery flight and that's what I'll be doing here today. And trust me, it was an experience of a lifetime to get the chance to be able to not only flew in an airplane but also to maneuver it at some point. It was epic. Watch the entire video. Thank you. Well done everybody. So now I'm here with Richard Gordon. He's a private pilot here at the Aeronautical School. So Richard, bless. Thanks yeah. for having me today. Good. As an outsider, what would I expect as a person coming in for to, to say like I want lessons and or what to expect when I pay my money for a course? Well, first let me welcome you guys to so, um, Aeronautical School of the West Indies. Like um, you mentioned, I'm Richard Gordon. I'm a private pilot. Um, here at the school so uh, when you when you pay your money to, to come here to let's say do a course um, here at the school we're approved to do a private pilot training yeah we're also approved to do commercial pilot training uh, instrument rating okay. flight instructor rating so everybody who comes in more or less will start at the, the private pilot level okay. right? So um, that, that is unless you, you have some sort of experience from before. So everybody starts at the private pilot level. Yeah. Uh, once you come in, we have two courses that we offer. All right, so the first one, two court, well, it's a private pilot course and we have two ways that, that we offer it. So okay. it's a full-time course where you're, you come in full-time, like four days a week for three months. For three months. And you'll do what is called ground school. Right? Ground school, ground school okay. is where the students come, they're, knock out all of the, the theory aspect of it because you need to know the theory before you actually go into the airport yeah, yeah, flying, right? you know. right so uh, come in uh, you do the, the, the theory portion of it for it's full time for three months four days a week and there's also the the part-time course which is one day a week so on, on a saturday okay and that that is for six months okay that's the class i saw you had right earlier. so that, that's the class that's going on today so um saturdays for, for six months so the Good thing about the part-time course is that, um, as you know, flying in general, it's an yeah. expensive thing yeah, to, to yeah, embark yeah, on, definitely. right? So here at the, the ASWI, actually for the, the six-month um, part-time course, we actually can segment the payments. Okay. So what we do is we, we take a deposit up front, and then for each month after that, you can pay in installments, right? Until okay. completion. Until so completion, yeah. You pay a, a fee for the, the six months. Each one for right. the six months. So um, that, that's more or less what um, drone school is like. Uh, we offer 100 plus hours of, of drone school, which the authority requires for, for there to be about 40 or so hours right. of drone school. Yeah. So we give you way more than what the authority even requires. Oh, okay. right? Nice. nice, uh, so nice. The, the point is to not just just give you what, what the minimum requirement what the minimum requirement is, but to actually you know um, have persons become actual AV it was like real good airmen so okay. that's what that is so after completing ground school then from there you'll go on to the flight line where you'll, you'll do the flying portion of your, your training so right. uh, again minimum requirement is 40 hours uh, most people don't get it in the 40 because it, it depends on your, your aptitude and yeah, your grasp yeah, and knowledge yeah. and things like that so right. for the most part people tend to um, get it within the 60 70 hours yeah I mean again it depends on the individual all right nice all right, so that's that. And make sure you guys check it out if you want to get your private pilot lessons. Come down to the Aeronautical School here at Tensipen Airport. All right, so now Richard will give me like a little brief tour of the facility and show me around and everything. So you guys can come along. He's in it. So follow. All right, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is our first solo walk, right? Okay. So what we're looking at here is for each student who actually goes up and do what is called a first solo, so they're flying the aircraft 
on their own. They've trained oh, okay. up to a level yeah. where they're still students, but they're allowed to take the aircraft out on their own and do specific things under the guidance of their instructor, right? Ah. After completing the first solo, there is usually a tradition where the, the, the back of the shirt is, is cut. It's cut, yeah. And, and this then is that. The, the, that's what you're seeing here. So these are the, the, the shirt backs of all of the persons who have done a first solo so ah. far. And, and everybody here has, all, has already graduated and got their private license. So not everybody oh, here not has, everybody. has their private okay. license. Um, there are a couple people here that have their, their private license. Um, okay. I can see about two or three people here with their private ah. license so far. Okay, so okay, okay. everything is stages. First solo is the, the first milestone that a student pilot will, will go through yeah. before getting the the private uh, pilot license. All right. So after talking about the pilots that have done their first solo flight, then we journey along down to the simulation room that had the simulator. And from here, Richard would have given me a brief introductory and labeling of what the interface of the Cessna aircraft would look like. And all the labeling and what all the buttons do and everything and what to expect. Just a brief introductory. After this, then we have come in contact with our pilot for today that will be giving me my discovery flight, Gio. Hello. Yeah. I hope, I hope my hair looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Gio is an awesome pilot, and from here, he went ahead and... This is a stall horn, all right? This operates via vacuum. There's a special way to test it. Um, you have to suck it. You have, you have to suck the hole. <laughs> yeah, boy. Uh, and um, it will scream. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing it for no, them. We're not, we're not doing that today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as, as embarrassing as it is, yes, it, that's yeah, how it, that's it, how it's, you do it. It's necessary. All right, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Met there playing ball out. Just gave me like a brief introductory of the aircraft and an inspection. Let me know what the fuel should look like, what this and that button does, what this flap does, and everything. So now for the moment you have all been waiting for, the flight. It's up there for you. Clear. So because it was a 15 minute flight, both G and I have managed to talk about YouTube, how long he's been flying, which is approximately 5 years, and also to learn some fun facts, and last but not least, to enjoy the scenic view from the Cessna aircraft, and also to capture some content on my phone. Links below for my TikTok. Once Gio realized everything was safe and secure for someone else to maneuver the aircraft under his supervision, he handed me the controls.
All right, so from this point on, I'm just gonna have to narrate a bit only because the audio is a bit distorted due to the engine sound and the wind. So from this point on, Gio was telling me if I turn the yoke to the left, then the airplane will bank to the left and vice versa. If, it, if I turn the yoke to the right, then the airplane will bank to the right. So that's what you're seeing now. And then now he's just giving me some other instructions saying that I should use three fingers to judge the front part of the aircraft just to make sure I'm in line of sight of some something. I don't remember. And then now I managed to get full control and trust me, I gripped the yoke so tight and firm. It was very, you know, <laughs> First time doing it, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to the yoke pretty tight. And uh, yeah, at some point, like it was, it was, it felt so weird and foreign to me that uh, because of the turbulence, it, <laughs> it was just an experience of a lifetime. You'd have to experience it firsthand just to understand what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, firm grip. Even at some point here, you can see where I have to make up my face just a bit only because the turbulence was pretty rough and the yoke felt weird. Like everything was just foreign to me, as I said before. So uh, yeah, I have to hold on to the yoke very tight and uh, <laughs> I had to make some funny faces. And now from this point on, Gia decided to take back control of the aircraft due to the time and also we had to land it now so that's what's happening here all right everybody so as you can see i've just got my experience of the flight experience that aeronautical school of the west indies has to offer so i experience and so i encourage the youth that has not yet been flown in an aircraft to come here and experience it you can sign up on their website and get more information on their website and or instagram social media platforms link all links for aeronautical school of the west indies will be in the description but yeah as you can see and as you have experienced with me my experience flying in the air taking control of the, of the actual um what i think they call again Noel? The yoke, yeah, getting, getting, taking control of the yoke in the cockpit of the aircraft and stuff. So, so like, it was very amazing, a really nice experience. First time experiencing it, and as I said before, I encourage the youth to come out and and, and and try something new for once and just get other experiences. All links for Aeronautical School at the West Indies will be down in the description, so you can check it out. And uh, yeah, my experience was a nine out of ten. Reason being. The extra 1% that I didn't give, it, 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 was, it was a bit uncomfortable at times when the wind just woof, and lifted the aircraft and stuff like that. But it was, I was being flown by, an, by a very experienced pilot, Gio. Thank you so much to Gio. Gio is an amazing pilot. He's been flying and, be, and have been in the air and has been a private pilot for the approximately, well, approximately five years. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, man. And a uh, geo link will down below if you like um, private flights as well. So you can check out his, his, his social media platform. So that is down below as well. So you can check it out. So enough of me talking, enough of that chit chat. Thank you so much for checking in and tuning in on this week's episode. Uh, I appreciate you if you're still here watching now. And uh, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace. Oh yeah. Make sure and remember to subscribe to the channel, is me? 
subscribe to the channel please and also down below my paypal link is there i don't usually ask for money but paypal link is there so if you want to donate anything for this channel and for me to continue making these type of videos and extreme content like these ones please make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the video and also to support the channel as i said before a paypal link is down below if you'd like to donate anything anything is is highly appreciated uh, highly appreciatable appreciable how the word go appreciated appreciated no not appreciated appreciatable appreciatable yeah that word there so thank you so much for watching peace